Okay, um, welcome back. So um, I'm going to be adding a stamp to my to the leather bag. So I, I I've gone to Photoshop and then I've created this um, logo down here in Photoshop and then I exported this out as a um, TIFF file. So it's in TIFF format down here. So I'm going to give you guys the file also. So and then I went to um, Substance Painter. So it's down here already, but let me show you guys how to import this. So um, it's quite easy to do. So all you have to do is to go in here, then drag this in here. Then you just choose import to project only. So once you choose that, please be on your alpha, on the alpha um, pilot so you can just drop this in here and then choose this import to project. So that's all. And then, so I want to stamp this on this my cover bag down here. So all I have to do is to, I went down to the base color. So I want to put this down beneath every other layer. And then, but, but on top of this my base color. So I created a new fill layer. A new fill. It's a new fill layer. And then I turn off my color, metal, roughness, and normal. And then I just increase my, I think, decrease the height value in, in the negative space down here, like so, almost close to 0 0.2. And then I went in here, let me name this stamp. I went in here, option click, and then added a black marks to this. Added a black marks to this. And then I'm going to be using my default brush. I'm going to be using the default soft brush for this without for soft brush. So let me cancel this and cancel this. So choosing the default soft brush, it comes in like this with the alpha with this um, soft um, rounded shape. And then my grayscale is around here. Let me take this way up. So all I have to do now to stamp this in here is to drag this my logo in here to this gray scale. So it's showing already, but it's not working as it should because I still have some black areas behind this, so I don't want that. So I'm still going to drag this logo to the alpha down here. So drag this to the alpha, drop this in here. So now I have something that shows just the, just my text. Okay, it just like it, it works like a layer marks in Photoshop, whereby white completely reveals it, full white completely reveals your, your, um, your um, objects or image, and full black com completely hides it. So, and that's the reason why the white, the, the text is on white color and in the background is on black. So I don't have any contribution of the black affecting the height information of this um, stamp I'm trying to input here. So the next thing I'm going to do is just increase the brush size. With the open and close bracket key, I can increase the brush size. Maybe somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Size I'm using 63. And then I'll just kind of rotate and hold shift to snap it. Then I'll just stamp this somewhere around here. So it's loading. And if I take my um, brush out of the way, you will see the depth. So as you can see, that's added that on there. That's cool. And then I can still go back to this um, layer and still play with the height. If I feel the height information is not good enough, you can still tweak this in real time. So as you can see, but let me take this back to where it was before. So this is fine. So that's it. So um, I'm going to carry on and do something else in the next lesson. So the next part is going to be, like I explained before, it's going to be um, um, making this look more torn and then used. But if you feel you want to export this out with this um, stamp on here, that's fine, before making the new wear and tear that's fine you can do that 
But I'm going to leave this as it is and then carry on. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson.